Here is a publication I'm working on for my InDesign CC Creating Fixed Layout eBook course with Train Simple. I can move throughout my document with the scroll bar, check back on things. Okay, so that's the Paris button that's going to take me to this layout. And is this ready? Do I, which picture am I using? Oh, I'm using that picture. Maybe I should slide back here. And oh, I'm using that picture up there. There are, of course, ways to proof. You can use multiple views of the same document, which I'm going to show you how to do in the very next video. But one trick that I really like is to use the Pages panel. So let me open my Pages panel here. This is what it looks like by default. These are medium-sized page thumbnails, and they can show me a little bit of information about the page, but it's actually kind of small. I can't tell for sure. I can't tell on this page what thumbnail image I'm using here, what the background image is. Wouldn't it be nice if it showed it bigger? Wouldn't it be nice if I didn't have to scroll between pages just to take a quick glance at the content on that page? Well, it turns out I can. If I go to the Pages panel flyout menu and choose Panel Options at the bottom, I can change the size of the page thumbnails. So extra small and small, pretty much indecipherable what their contents are, but a quick way to navigate through the document and see how many pages and what master pages are assigned. Or you can get big. Let me try jumbo. Ooh, look at that. Nice and big. I can make out all the details on these pages. So I don't have to jump around. I can simply slide this over the side and maybe I'll narrow the pages panel a little bit. There we go. Or if I was smart, let's see, I'll tear that out and I'll hide the links and layers and I will take the pages panel and stick it right there. And now my document window automatically sizes for the pages panel and I have thumbnail previews so I can see exactly what's on each of these pages. So now as I'm working on this page, I can refer back to this visual table of contents. I can get a thumbnail view without having to zoom way out, zoom back in, scroll between pages, and whatnot. I have a nice little thumbnail viewer. I use that quite a bit, particularly when I'm working on visually rich publications like an ebook, a fixed layout ebook, or a detailed ebook, such as one of my books about e publishing with InDesign or when I'm working on a magazine layout or something else, quarterly reports, big. I need to keep an eye on different pages. Also, very important if I'm collaborating, if I've got people working on in-copy stories or placing one InDesign document inside another, if I've got somebody working on those pieces or I've got someone working on a placed Photoshop or Illustrator file, I want to be able to keep tabs on the changes that are happening and glance quickly at each page. Also very useful if you're working on a document where you've got segments of the page that may not be finished yet. You can glance through the thumbnails here and tell, okay, well, I've got an empty space in the bottom corner right of page six. I have a half page open on page nine. See what I'm saying? It becomes a way to flat plan or preview your entire document without having to jump all around, without having to leave where you already are and where you're working. So very efficient, useful tool, the Pages panel with large, extra large or jumbo thumbnails for pages.